All right, well, I just got these two yahoos with me today. <laughs> we have the opportunity to go to Goodwill. Had to drop off brothers. Mom is at an event with Ruby, and three brothers are at uh, another event in Washington, Illinois. So we just dropped them off. And we're like, well, it's six o'clock on Saturday. Probably not the best Goodwill in time, but we're gonna figure it out. You guys gonna have fun with me anyway? Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna make some money. Yeah. <laughs> so they got a bunch of stuff out on the sidewalk. Yes, Five yes, bucks yes. for whatever that is. Some kind of hey, tiller thing. A skateboard. And a Terracing. skateboard on my birthday. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, you need a skateboard for your birthday. Yeah. And do kickflip and one. right. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> kickflip and tell me how much it is. Five bucks. Actually, that's a pretty decent board. Can I have it? So this is a much smaller store than we're used to dealing with. And they've changed the layout since last I was in here. Um, but we're going to see what we can find anyway. Looks like these are all and women's. And we already found something. Yeah, well, I recorded you finding that a minute ago. Oh. These are all women's coats, it would appear. Sherpa line something. Pants. But yeah, evidently men's coats are in with the men's clothes are not available. Free box. Free box. I might have been prone to buy these trains, but I'm not going to buy them with the table. But gee, grief, $9.99 might be worth buying them and then leaving the table at the donation desk station. I don't see anything else interesting. I guess these crates are kind of cool. For $2.99. Record crates. I bet I know who would buy those from me. My Neighbor Totoro. Is that what that is? Oh, it's My Neighbor Totoro on the top and then Fairy Tale and Sakura. Those are actually really cool. But that's real niche. <laughs> this store does not do new clothes with the frequency that other stores do. They work one rack at a time real slow. Oh, is this a construction pup? Or is this Bingo and Rolly's little sister? The new pup. The new pup. From Disney. We'll probably get that for sale. Evelyn, say it's for sale. It's for sale. Is it for keeping? No. Okay. I might have to show you this video and remind you later, huh? Ooh, that looks like some vintage. Maybe it's not vintage. And no way to know. Some vintage, like Whoa. 2000 Scooby-Doo stuff can do well. What did you find? <laughs> you were already making so many farty noises on the car on the way here. You don't need any whoopee cushions for farty noises. What's here? Bunch of random action figures but it doesn't look like anything that i'm familiar with that's cool you could name her left at goodwill yeah and name the other girl you don't need it yeah are those good names no but dad <laughs> i just want to show you something i could name her rapunzel and she could be rapunzel older that's a neat plushie i doubt it's worth yeah. anything and right here, right behind me, this is very interesting. Electric skillets can do really, really well. And this one, Healthcraft, looks like it's high tensile, high volume stainless steel. I'm going to look it up. Part number, catalog number 7273 seven, for seven bucks. I can't tell if it has the plug in it or if that's there to... If it doesn't have the plug, it's going to be a little tough to sell. But if it has the plug inside of it, it might be part of the reason the lid's taped on. So there is the cord. Dad, could we do this thing the, where we're not buying it, but you could keep it while we're looking around? You can hold on to her while we're looking around? Yeah. 
I think this is a banger. So definitely a good get, definitely a pickup. Uh, it's got about a 50% sell through rate at like $35, $40 plus shipping. If it said no, if it said uh, Salad Master, it would be three, four, five times that. Uh, but that one's good. And they look very similar. So I think I'm probably going to be able to get 50 bucks for that one. Didn't I tell you to put that down? That's so bad. So a whole bunch of new, like, couldn't sell it at Target last year, Christmas decorations, and some, like, kind of random home decor stuff. Um, actual vintage, like, used Christmas stuff, which I appreciate. But nothing we got to have yet. I sincerely doubt this is anything, but I'm going to turn it over and make sure it's not signed. Yeah. Well, it's kind of a super generic but the kind of thing that could be like signed art and be worth something these are skates that like roller derby brand that are not attached to boots $2.99 there's bingo yeah she's their neighbor right Let's see. <laughs> this I've bought several times and never done well with it. it ju it's a picnic thing. It sure seems like it should be worth something, but it's not. So these just got brought out of the back. This is a... a, a Reindeer, and this one is a Santa's a Santa in his sleigh, and they're seven dollars a piece. But you can see they're huge, and I think they would probably do well enough on Facebook Marketplace to make them worth messing with. Mac tools, that one's a slap. That is fairly huge to try to ship, but $13.99 for a Snap-on Vintage Creeper? We're definitely competent. And you guys have missed we went through every stitch of men's clothes except for the rest of this aisle. But I only picked up one shirt and I'll show it to you in a minute. But it's really... This place doesn't mark their clothes up the way the one like five minutes up the road where I live. 15 minutes up the road where I live do, but... So like uh, the, the shirt's three ninety nine, button down for five forty nine as opposed to those would be five ninety nine and eight seventy nine if they were closer to my house. But they also don't have much, so either somebody does a good job picking through this stuff, or they don't get they get like medium brands donated, so like they're not getting Howler Bros. They're getting Van Heusen, or that's Walmart, George. Um, oh, and somebody's picking through it. Ripple Junction, Venkman. Venkman is a Ghostbuster. That's two thirty nine for. I don't know. I put a comp up, but I did pass on it. I think it's probably just. A really oversaturated thing. Uh, we did end up getting both of those creepers. And I'm going to get the Christmas decorations and try to put them on Facebook. And if at $7 a piece, if I can't get $20 a piece for them, I'd be shocked. But I definitely won't lose money. I may end up taking $20 for them. Burton, that's a very interesting label. It's really heavy. I'm not familiar with Burton. It's newer, made to look vintage. And it's probably cheap junk. A lot of this stuff is cheap junk, but that's the name of the game. You look through the cheap junk until you find the good stuff. If it was easy, everybody'd do it. Kind of everybody does do it, and it's not hard, it's just a lot. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take a break here and continue. Ooh, wait a minute. 
made in the U.S. Look at that. I was about to give up. And this is a OD sweater, Land's End men's medium, made in the U.S., vintage. So that is a get for sure. And then this is the Wrangler Pearl Snap double button. It's Wrangler Ranger, which is not a line that they make anymore. And it's not super vintage, but it's not like new either. I think it's 549 also. Yeah. This is interesting, like uh, some kind of motocross jersey, it looks like. ACG still do any good? That's pretty plain, Jane. I think I'm going to leave it. But should I pick up that waffle pattern ACG Nike thing? You tell me. So I'm buying a bunch of big stuff. Um, but I'm really tempted by this. $30 for this gold gym. Like, this would probably sell on Facebook Marketplace for a couple hundred bucks. But I, I don't know. I just, I'm so discouraged by Facebook Marketplace all the time. It's such a pain in the butt. I feel like I probably should buy it. But like, this is coming apart, which makes me uncomfortable. Yeah, that's bro literally broken is what's going on here. And I went through and comped every one of those pairs of glasses. Not every single one, but all of them that had some kind of marking. And that was infuriating because there wasn't nothing there. Hey, we forgot to do an outro, so now we're back home. But that was a pretty successful trip. This sweater, as it turns out, I comped, and it's not worth as much as I thought it was. It's made in the U.S., and it's Land's End, and it's that OD5 button. I thought it would be better. It was not. Um, I'm going to do the Christmas things. I uh, consulted with a handful of viewers and uh, friends. and th th Should these do okay on Facebook Marketplace? I think they will. Is there something going on behind me? You guys seem distracted. Um, and I'm really excited about the Creepers. I bought some... I uh, thought about something else. Oh, that plushie wasn't hardly worth picking up either. Um, Alright, well, but uh, overall, like, I took some swings and took some misses, but I think we did really, really well I overall. So I think that's about it. It gets my brother, Caleb. Evelyn, Caleb. What were you supposed to say? Like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. See you on the next one. Oh.